Welcome everyone to a new gameplay series on Cold Waters. This will be a return to the game after, well, a relatively recent series on it. Uh, we just finished the South China Sea campaign in the year 2000 as the USS Seawolf. Had a successful campaign, won that one. Uh, a lot of nail-biting moments. <laughs> one moment in particular where there was six enemy torpedoes in the water very near me. But we survived it. Uh, we took one very heavy hit and knocked us down to 33%, but... Um, now in this one, the big question that I was debating about for a long time is which submarine to play. So in this 1968 start, we have three options. We have the Sturgeon, we have the Permit, and we have the Scorpion, which or Skipjack. But uh, I think the Scorpion was a Skipjack. But uh, anyway, this is uh, the fastest of the classes <coughs> of the three at 30 knots. Also, based on the information, the like more detailed information that I looked into, like the, the spreadsheet information. It has a fat, uh, better turning rate, it, which makes sense. It's 3,500 tons versus 46 and 43. A better turning rate, uh, better acceleration rate. So <clears throat> unfortunately, its sound profile, la uh, according to the old information, uh, assuming that it hasn't been updated, is 140 versus 136 for the permit and 130 for the sturgeon. Now, unfortunately, the sturgeon's speed is not as great. In fact, it's the slowest of the three. Probably why it's the quietest of the three. Now, is the 130 versus 140 a big difference? I don't know. In my previous campaign, we played in 1968, I should say, we played as a skipjack, and I liked that because it was easy to kind of just dart around and get stuff done. I think for this one, we'll try the generic sturgeon. I'm gonna have a bit hard time, I guess, trying to avoid torpedoes and the like. Um, the main way I do it is just not, it's not the <laughs> prototypical way of doing it, I suppose. I'm usually a little bit more cavalier with my uh, torpedo launching, and I've learned a lot uh, through the course of these series, a lot of great feedback from people. Um, anyway, so we'll be playing as the USS Aspro, SSN 648. Now we're back in the European theater after uh, a nice journey into the East China or South China Sea, basically the Pacific, Western Pacific. So we have some reasons why we're going to war. I don't really care much about these, so we'll just kind of blow through them quickly. If we can, there we go. A wolf pack of enemy cruise missile submarines is believed to be operating in the area about 200 miles north of Iceland. Important NATO naval forces will be moving into the region shortly, therefore you are direct ordered to find and sink all enemy attack sub Blah. sink all enemy attack submarines in the area. Intelligence believes that additional enemy naval forces may pass through the area. Ah, you don't say. Okay, so let's see what we're starting off with. They're giving us Well, I mean th the problem is this is a only an a th this is a surface only torpedo. So I'm going to drop two of these, and I'm going to raise two of these. There we go. We spent two hours in port. I think this is a <laughs> an important thing to do. So I like that the it will have the serpentine um, profile. We'll probably have these guys go active. They're just terrible. Anyway, um, let's cast off anchors away. So we want to prevent south of Iceland, right? Was that what I heard? If we can catch them in the Norwegian Sea, oh, there's something. Let's get to it right away. We are not fast. I'm used to a much faster ship. Start slowing down. Okay, let's catch her in... There. Catch her in uh, slower speeds. So... We have a contact bearing 325. This is this may be the wolf pack we're looking for. All hands man battle stations. Now the crush depth for this rig ship for ultra quiet. Uh, 325. So we're basically right Come face. right to. Now we Three, actually two, don't need two, to worry about we can five. face contacts directly which is going to in fact uh, steady as she goes. Um, we want to look at layer information there's none. So um, there's no toad array. We have no toad. <laughs> People often joke that it's a toad ray, as in a frog array. But uh, our sensor, we can see our sonar sonar 
receptacles or receivers or sensors, whatever, are in the front of the ship. So we don't need to worry about um, not facing our target. In fact, in a lot of ways, facing our target is going to be advantageous. Let's see what we have here. We have one contact. Which could be... Let's pull this up. Wow, look at that. Uh, this could be a... Well, it looks like it's a Foxtrot. Con sonar, Sierra 1 is classified as come left to. Let's head three, right at her. Two, helm I. Get some more information. Actually, it's still better if we don't head helm right at her two, at first. Three, four, so we seven, can helm I. Uh, get a better targeting analysis solution. TMA, I think it's called. Um, negative 694. That's if she's there. I do like this pattern, search pattern. Unfortunately, now the Fox Truck cannot outrun this torpedo, which is good news. And a crush depth for us, by the way, what's our depth under keel? 1914, a familiar number. <laughs> That's the deepest this game miles. On helm, steady course. Okay, so let's just uh, speed up time a little bit. Should have a pretty good solution soon. We can come back the other way. Oh, we're in her baffles, supposedly. Well, that's maybe a reason not to change course. But we, we do want to plot. Now, she might be moving. You know what? I think it's going to be time for us to just launch based on this projection that her course is heading away from us. Um, let's go ahead and launch. What's her position? Same as ours. Yeah, so we're getting her now. Let's send one down her way. And she's not going to be fast enough to avoid it. That's the really good news. This thing apparently has much longer range than I expected. 22, okay. So, like this. Now, if we wanted to be bold for the first mission, I mean, this is crazy, right? Being bold. Um, we could attempt to speed up very quickly and then slow down again to try to stay to get a little closer before launching. However, at 7k... Okay, steady as she goes. I think I'm going to trust that this is going to be a good enough launch position. Okay. Prayer for torpedo launch. Flood torpedo days. What do they say? Fire point procedure. <laughs> And shoot torpedo tube two. Shoot tube two. Aye, sir. We have some wire guidance still, so we'll be able to guide this thing in. And gui wire guidance is going to be very important for us, actually, since um, we're going to want to navigate these things to kind of cut corners and make sure that they don't get away as as often, the enemy submarines. Now, we will want to... Let's see, this was a, a port side launch, I believe. Okay, odds, oh no, even is port. Yeah, even is port. Okay, so let's come north. I actually am going to stay on my current heading, which is bad from the perspective that they can either easily counter fire in the same direction. If they do, I'm going to test my, we'll do a quick test of my submarine's depth. They'll go deep, and we'll just dive deep. In fact, while we're preparing for this, let's make my make depth. depth no, actually, zero, stay zero, at 150 because. Make depth one, zero, zero, eight, yeah, I think five. this is the best thing to do. Look how damn slow this effing Con torpedo is. At one, five, zero, eight, die by. So here we go, slow and steady, right? Con sonar, new contact bearing three, three, six, designated Sierra two. Got one. Let's find out what this is. Okay. A Juliet. Actually, Juliets are quite. Sonar, Sierra, two, 
is classified as submerged submarine. So this is bad. Are they noisier? No, the fox is much quieter, so this must be pretty far away. What is your test depth? Only a thousand feet. So neither of these can dive very deep. Actually, if she goes active, she can actually detect us. We shouldn't have that same problem, so let's start Come nosing right up to two, her. Three, three, six, and this will keep I. the wire on the correct side, supposedly if it's a port launch. I think odd are port, port, no, sorry. Odd are starboard and even are port. And the way I was remembering that is even and port have the same number of letters. But yeah, you can use any trick you want. <laughs> Now this is not going to go active, so that's good. It should not indicate to the Foxtrot that there's something going on, I hope. And how confident are we about the solution? We're not in terribly confident, so that's why I wanted to go active a little bit early. Con, helm, steady course. I actually don't want it to do this silly pattern. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra One. Okay. We got our launch transients and our noisemaker, which means that our torpedo is in the correct area. Now that's okay, we don't want to do anything yet to alert the Juliet. My depth, 850 feet. Okay, well, we have no longer in control of it. There it goes. I, it, I assume it's got something. Now where is that enemy torpedo? Okay, this Juliet is pretty close. Active, she could have us. I really wish I had all underwater torpedoes. That was kind of stupid. And let's come, come left at two, that torpedo. Two, seven, eight, helm, I. In fact, we're gonna begin torpedo Major, evasion. Four, one. Not By speeding up. Eye. Bring my planes, let's just make my depth Got very deep, very quick. Because Juliet is going to be able to hear us if she is where we think she is, unfortunately. Passing 600 feet. Okay, bring my speed down. Make turns for five knots. Maneuvering eye. My planes up slightly feet. to give us a slightly less of a profile. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Make turns for one. Make turn. Make turns for one zero knots. Maneuvering eye. We're just hoping at this point that I'm deep enough to have avoided the torpedo's arc. Passing nine hundred feet. I think I am. Okay, slow down. Make turns for five. How's my torpedo doing? I think it's just a total miss. I think it's a total whiff. Con maneuvering, making turns for five knots. Let's reload that one. Whoops. So we can see how challenging this is going to be. We're going to have a hard time launching and detecting and destroying these opposing ships. We actually have the Juliet completely. She's also a relatively slow ship. Okay, so let's go ahead and launch, and I'm just going to reload these as soon as I can. So we won't be running completely silent, which means they will be able to detect us with passives. I want two torpedoes, and I want them to head to the surface, and I want them to go active. Because these are both 
basically at the surface. So let's launch one here. At the Juliet. Come left to three. Oops, zero, that was not that was not launching. I. Shoot two four. I sir. Hoping that these torpedoes are, can be fired from this depth. And apparently they can. And as soon as we have another one, we'll launch it at this Foxtrot. Again, giving away our position, but if they're gonna stay at the surface, we're content to go active, surface, etc. Let's prepare to launch this one. So right now our four, which is port side, is going to the right, but this one is firing port side should go to the left, which is good. Foxtrot is gonna have quite a lead on this torpedo. The surface. Helm. Steady course. Okay. And shoot torpedo two. Shoot two two. Aye, sir. Now the waiting game. Things are going to happen a lot slower in 1968, which is a good thing or a bad thing depending on how you view it. Yeah, they're both practically at the surface. Room, tube three ready. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 2. Okay, we're probably going to lose this wire, so I'm going to cut her deep. Let's go to this position. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, three, zero, seven. And activate, and hopefully you get her. Okay, you are going to have a harder time. Probably going to lose the wire, though. Okay. Make it turns for 15 four, knots. One. Beetle evasion. Make our heading. Con sonar lost. Come left to two two five. Helm I. For torpedo evasion at this depth, I think it's just prudent to go maximum speed. Make turns for two five knots. Maneuvering I. Con fire control. We've lost the wire. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, three, zero, two. Con, helm, steady course. This one should go active soon. Okay. Their torpedo is just simply going to miss. Alright, well let's use this time to realign. Come right to two, no, seven, one, actually delay that. I Let's go. I want to still move far enough away from this torpedo that we don't have problems with that. Now here's our torpedo. It is. Con, helm, steady course. Come on, turn, 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 turn. Get it, get it. <gasps> I think we got it. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing three zero seven. I don't think Con she got it. Damn it. Contact on Sierra one, bearing two five one. Okay, we'll get another one at this. Juliet. We'll have to close. Let's close into our baffles then. Come right to three three nine helm I. This Juliet is coming right at us. Maneuvering, making turns for ring ship for ultra quiet running. Let's do this. Up to the surface. Active. Prepare to launch as soon as we slow down. I mean, this Juliet knows where we are. What is she gonna do though? It's her game. Okay. Con sonar, Six knots. Noisemaker bearing three zero seven. Launch torpedo one or tube one. Rise to surface active immediately. Shoot tube one. Aye, sir. 
Con, Helm, steady course. That one's a miss. Hopefully not a miss. That one's a miss. This one's probably a miss as well. It will scare that foxtrot off for now. And we don't know, there could be other submarines in the water here. Let's try to take a look at the tactical situation. Go active. Guide you in. Time to target. Ten seconds. Estimate. Five seconds. Four. Three. Two. One. Brace for impact. We have impact. Explosion in the water. She's still running. Okay, well, let's just get another fish out into her. Um, she may sink. some fun. Wait, no. Delay that order. We don't know where this foxtrot is. Let's see if she holds her depth. Okay, there's the other one. Is she holding her depth? I mean, she's holding her depth. We probably could have hit her more amidship. That would have done more damage, but frankly, I was just focusing on getting any confirmed hit on her. Lost contact. Sierra, two, last bearing. Two, okay, so she's over four. us. We, if Maybe she's in our baffles, two, we're in her baffles. Five, Quickly spin around. Rudder full right. Hard to starboard. Bring our nose up. Let's go right behind Con, her. Torpedo room, two, four red con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one, last This will put the Foxtrot two, four, in our baffles, five, unfortunately. Passing 900 feet. Okay, level out. On the planes. Passing 800. Slow Rage down. Ultra quiet. Prepare to launch. Passing 700 She's feet. gonna be, what, dead in the water? Okay, give me a one, just give me one, tube one, as a surface thing. If she, like, connects herself to the surface, which she may do with such damage, Is she? Or is she sinking? <laughs> this is such an awkward moment. Prepare to launch. Tube 2. We are being... They know where we are. Finish him off. Shoot Tube 2. Active. Launch. Shoot Tube 2. Aye, sir. Okay, down, planes, Gun, down. Fire control, we've lost the wire. It's fine, should be fine. Speed up, hard to starboard. Three, Don't want to get into her way. Two, five knots, maneuvering eye. This will be fun. Passing 600 feet. Looks like it's going to hit. Con sonar, we have a hit. Contact. Sierra, two. <laughs> Emergency <laughs> collision avoidance. <laughs> Emergency collision avoidance. <laughs> and we still have one other fish in the water over there, and I'm not talking about torpedo. Passing 900 feet. Okay, let's not join her on the bottom. Bring our nose up. Make our depth Passing six zero zero. Make depth six zero zero. Heading. <laughs> Let's go 270. Close enough. Ready for quiet. quiet. And let's find out where this other one is. Con sonar. Con it's close. 
He's cavitating. Okay. Where? At the surface still. Prepare to launch. Okay, reload. Prepare to launch. Torpedo from tube three. Active. Move to surface. Actually, let's let's guide ourselves. And we're getting a Gone, like no. an ordinance. Any course. Pings from oh, that's our torpedo way off in the distance. Okay. We're in the fox trust tail. Is that could that possibly be true? Con sonar, noisemaker bearing oh. two, four, eight. They're dropping noisemakers. They actually think that they're they're being pursued by this torpedo and they're not. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, make my depth three uh, we want to go flank speed still, so five hundred I'd say. I want to be able to dive under the torpedoes if they come, but I want them, so I don't want them to send them that deep, because I want to go deep. So if they do do any kind of depth calculation with theirs, we're basically matching their depth now. Okay, it looks like, it looks like they are, we are actually in their baffles, so give me flank speed, I'll head flank. Make depth 550, just to prevent any cavitation. Make my heading 247. left two, two, four, seven, helm I. Con sonar, con, dive at five, five, zero feet, dive by. Close the gap. Con maneuvering, making turns for two, five knots. Just captating. Okay, we're quiet. Ultra quiet. Slow down. I mean, don't, don't slow down. I mean, we are also slowing down, but remove time compression. Active. Foxtrot. Nope, we're gonna come into her. Okay, flank ahead. Make turns for two, five knots. Let's get up right behind her. Okay. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Ultra quiet. Kill those. Kill that prop noise. What is she thinking? Oh my god. She's gonna have a big problem on her hands if she doesn't make some evasive maneuver very quickly. How could they have done that to themselves? Con maneuvering. Make okay, we know where she has to go. So, not. prepare to fire. Launch at this 257. And just prepare to wire guide in. She's going to have to go south of this iceberg. So, launch torpedo tube 3. Shoot tube 3. Aye, sir. We'll guide this one in ourselves. I don't think you can change its depth yet. You can't change its depth until it's active. We don't want it to go active. I want it to just stay straight. But there's no option for that. Alright, we'll guide it in ourselves. Don't think it's that far. Oh, she is. Zero. Make turns up. Zero. Not maneuvering. Let's get it to go to the surface if I, if I lose the wire, which I might in a moment. Come right to two eight three. Helm I. Con sonar. Noisemaker bearing two eight. Keep going. Six. We haven't activated her yet, and now I don't want to. Not until after this. Keep her on in this mode for as long as possible, which will give her more juice after we activate her. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing. Yeah, those aren't going to matter. Eight, we're still wire guided. I mean, we're still uh, not activated. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Okay, activate torpedo. Let's bring her up to the surface. Control push through. <laughs> uh, fire control, weapon acquired. Disengage countermeasure holding. I'm gonna aim slight uh, at slightly after her sail. I think this is where I'll do the most damage. 
So this thing by itself probably would just guide itself into the rear. We're going to force it, hopefully, to a more appropriate collision point. Explosion out of the water. Alright, clear our baffles. Right two, zero, zero, nine, <sighs> well, that was one hell of a mission to start things off. I mean, if this is how every mission is going to go, <laughs> this is going to be a pain in the butt. I think I remember now another reason why I like the skipjack a lot, because I've had six, maybe even eight torpedo tubes? I think six. So we didn't have this problem where we had to constantly reload new torpedoes. Um, so we started off, that was first mission where, I don't remember how many this is capable of holding. I think this was at a, was this at 11? No, 10? I don't know. How many torpedoes did we launch? We, we, we can just kind of reflect. We launched at least, okay, let's think of this Juliet. We launched two at the Juliet, which didn't connect, and two which did. So that's four. Then we launched, I think, two at the Fox Trout, which didn't connect, and one which did. So that's seven. We launched seven torpedoes. <laughs> Remember my efficiency with the Mark 48 ad cap? An amazing torpedo, to be fair. But um, my efficiency with that was almost 100%, almost one-to-one. -one. Every torpedo killed a target. Very, I think it was like maybe 50 torpedoes launched in the series, maybe 100, I don't know, a lot. And less than five, I'm sure, did not hit their target. Or hit and didn't kill. Did any hit and, and didn't kill? I don't think so. So we'll uh, disengage this one. We sunk both. Sinking those ships keeps our boys safe. Hooray! We did the correct mission. Well, this is going to be fun. We're going to have to do some completely different tactics than the Sea Wolf. We can already see. But so far, I'm not disappointed by the Sturgeon. Her depth, the Skipjack's depth is, cr crush depth is only 1,000. So, I mean, her test depth is like 700, but you can really push that usually about 50% more. So crush depth is 7,000. The sturgeon, I think we don't have to worry about that. It's probably 1,500. So uh, her test depth, I think, is 1,200. Um, I can, I mean, I just, I have that information, don't I? I have it. It is, let me look. 1,320 is her te test depth, which means that she's basically okay to go as deep as we need her to go because 50% more than that puts us just about at the 1914 level, which is as deep as this game model. So, Wolves driven off. We did it. Completed this mission. You can read that if uh, you want. Just go back and pause. Satellite Recon has revealed an enemy raider group transiting at high speed towards the Soviet coast. We believe a small unrep force is operating in this area. You are ordered to interdict this group and sink any replenishment ships in the area. You may also get a chance at the enemy warships this, shoot, this group is intended to support, but tenders and tankers are the mission target. Okay, well, this is interesting. We are going to have to use these unguided surface torpedoes, so it's like Silent Hunter 3 all over again. Speaking of games that I uh, would like to play, there's actually two others I want to mention. Um, I mean, one other besides Silent Hunter 3, Dangerous Waters, which I'm now looking into, which appears to be like the submarine simulator. But anyways, for now, this will call this first episode to a close because it is the first episode in the series. You know I only do this once in the beginning of the first episode. If you wouldn't mind just pressing the like button just to give this better visibility on YouTube, I greatly appreciate it. And again, I won't ask again. Uh, and so, yeah, we'll see how far this series takes us. Hopefully better success than my previous 1968 campaign. But I'm really looking forward to it. The tactics are going to be very different. <laughs> and of, of course, uh, any comments, I always respond to those, look at those. Uh, I enjoy them, so feel free to leave those. Uh, we can have a discussion about various things, the different tactics, whatever, uh, down there. So, thanks for watching, and until the next episode, take care.